FM26 is out and you need your yearly reminder of how to install custom graphics. Today, we're covering logo packs. Anyway, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the logo pack I use, starting obviously with downloading the TCM logo pack. Of course, there are lots of different logo packs out there of various different styles. You can pick the one that's for you, and then you can get to the install part of this video, and I'll show you how to put that one in. Because the process, no matter which pack you pick, is the exact same. As for TCM logos, though, it's just a nice, clean finish with a nice white outline on all the badges. And like I said, this is the pack that I have now used for many, many years. Now, on the page link down below, you're going to scroll a little way down the screen till you see this downloads option here, the TCM24 for FM26 Mega Pack. Click here. It's then going to take you to a download link. In the middle, we have a download from Mega Upload. Some internet service providers block Mega Upload, but there are two alternative links that you can download from on the left and right. I will say now the option on the left doesn't work for me, but the one in the middle does work. Like I said, it's going to take us to Mega Upload, where this file is just shy of three gigabytes big. And the alternative link, the one on the right, is for Mediafire. If you click on that link, you're just going to need to click on this big blue download button here. Uh, you don't need to click anywhere else. Anyway, once you've completed your download, you are going to have a .rar file in your downloads folder. This file essentially has all the logos bundled up into one nice package. We are going to move it to our graphics folder for Football Manager and then extract it. Now your graphics folder is going to vary in location depending on if you're on Windows or Mac, but the locations can be seen on screen here. And there are some written instructions for installing this down in the description of today's video. So if there's any parts of the video where you're struggling to follow along, check out that, especially for this phase and uh, get into this location. It's rather useful. It is worth noting if this folder doesn't exist, make sure you've run Football Manager at least once. And if once you get to your FM26 folder within Documents, there is no Graphics folder, simply make the folder yourself. Just right click, New, Folder, Graphics in lowercase, and then within here, we are going to move our zip file. Uh, you'll note there are already some files here, completely unrelated to today's video. That was for my face back guide, which you should totally watch after this one if you want to get player faces into your game. Now that we've moved the downloaded pack to our graphics folder, we need to extract it here. On newer versions of Windows, you can do that by just clicking right click and extract all. If you're on older versions of Windows, you won't have this option. You're going to need to install WinRAR. There's a video link down below if that applies to you. Once you have installed it, WinRAR just has the option to extract files, as you can see on screen here. We just need to right click, hit extract all, and then confirm this location, which is within the graphics folder that I already kind of linked you to down in the description. Of course, my username is Jack here. We click extract and we wait. Yeah, there's 75,000 logos that need to be processed. Anyway, once your extraction is done, you are good to go. Within the graphics folder, we now have the logos folder that we just extracted as well as the downloaded RAR file. You can delete this RAR file. It is worth waiting until you make sure the logos are showing up in game first, however. So we have the folder in graphics, but in game, nothing has changed yet. Uh, yeah, we need to go restart the game. I will say, just as we're loading into things today, if this guide has helped you out, please do go down below and leave a like, especially in the current age of the internet where dislikes are hidden. People actually finding good guides can sometimes be difficult. And if this guide has been useful for you, um, it would be very much appreciated. I can already tell it's worked because I've got the Barcelona logo on the main menu and I can also see it in the dugout in the background. But yeah, if we load into our game here, our logo pack has now successfully installed and within this screen here, you can see we have all the different badges. Now, there is one caveat thing that I should have mentioned. Uh, there is a bug currently in Football Manager where if you have a face pack and a logo pack installed and a player has the same ID as a club, it stops the other from working. So you'll notice here, Real Madrid, uh, that they don't have a badge right now. Now this only needs to be done if you've also followed my face pack guide. You're gonna want to go to your preferences and within here, we're gonna click on detailed, audio and visual, and then this option, show screen IDs in title bar to assist skinning. You're gonna wanna make sure you tick. Now as you can see here, Real Madrid's ID is 1736. That's important. Remember that number. This does apply to any teams that you notice missing logos. I should also say, if you're watching this in the distant future and you installed the logo pack and have my face pack and the logos just showed up, they fix the bug, Football Manager, in which case you don't need to worry about this next step. But what we need to do is go to the Sort Out SI Cutout Mega Pack, the face pack that I use, and then within here, we're going to go to Faces and find the config file. 
it will be located right at the very bottom. Now you open this config file with notepad and what you need to do is you need to find the entry with the record that matches the club that's missing a badge. So in this instance, it's 1736. I can simply press control F and then go 1736. And hopefully we're gonna be able to find the badge. If I add a kind of quotation at the end and at the beginning, it should make this a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this line here, which is the face pack config file with the line that kind of matches the club ID. I am now gonna just delete this and then I'm just gonna hit save. And this is obviously editing the face pack config file, just to be clear. Now, unfortunately, this is going to require a restart and it does apply to various different teams. I just know that Real Madrid is the one I see people mention the most. I will say it is very annoying having to do this extra step right now and I'm hoping it's going to be fixed quickly. But I know if I don't mention how to fix it, I'm just going to get a load of comments down below. And you will only have this issue if you have a face pack installed, and essentially it's because there are players with the same number ID as the Real Madrid ID, and the game just gets a bit confused. But if we do load back into game and go to the Spanish Tit League and La Liga, you can now see that Real Madrid have their badge active. And like I said, the way you do this, you open up the config file in the face pack install. You then, within two quotations, just need to search for the ID. So in this case, it'd be 1733. Hit enter once you've searched for it, and then just delete the line, and then hit save, or control S in this instance to save the config file. And this is the config for the face pack, not the logo pack. And that is you all covered on how to install logo packs in Football Manager. I've just noticed that the La Liga logo isn't working either because of the IDs. I don't know who has the face number 67, but they don't have their face anymore, and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm happy now. La Liga has its badge in the top left. Like I said, hopefully this is a bug that gets fixed, because it does affect so many different teams and uh, club competitions. There's kind of too many to play whack-a-mole with. Anyway, hopefully you now have your logo pack installed and working in Football Manager, and if you haven't yet installed your face pack, go watch the video that I did on the channel covering that. There will be a link for it down below. Besides all of that, like I said already, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, leave a like. If you do need any help, it is tricky to offer assistance simply because if you don't follow any step correctly, the outcome is always the same in terms of the logos not working. So all I can really encourage you to do is repeatedly rewatch the video, make sure you're not making any mistakes. And particularly when it comes to that graphics folder, make sure it's within the location that's linked down in the description. Anyway, that is all from me. Hopefully I'll see you on the next FM26 video, not just guides on graphics this year. I'm going to be doing a lot of gameplay stuff. So if you're a new player, check out my channel for more stuff like that. And well, besides all of that, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you for watching. It's me, Jack, and I'm out.